This video shows how a neoclassical firm goes bankrupt. This is the production function used by the neoclassical theory of the firm. But I have proved that such a neoclassical firm produces inconsistent output. That it produces indeterminately and that it produces by copying. But there is still another problem. Since the labor share of income is alpha, or the capital share beta, the total share of income is alpha plus beta. If alpha equal to 1 minus beta, labor and capital took away the whole income. There is no profit. When you run a business that earns $100, a labor claims $50 and the capital claims another $50. What do you get? Do you still want to be a boss?